definitely wanted to, to say to you, Chris, that I think three groups of people are owed an apology. Um, first and foremost is the, the reporters who participated in that press conference. The fact that I gave uh, an, an instruction which resulted in them being um, cut off or them feeling like their right under the First Amendment was not respected is completely my fault. I should give better instruction and I'm responsible for that. You know, the people of Guam deserve an apology because we can constantly point to examples in our history of uh, people who work for the government and think that they shouldn't be subject to scrutiny. And I never wanted to be one of those people, and that's wrong. And third, um, I extended my personal apology to the lieutenant governor and to the governor. And the lieutenant governor had the strength and moral fortitude to um, apologize to the people of Guam on the radio this morning, the moment he was asked the question. Um, the fact that I had to wait for reporters to have, ask me the question shows that I'm not as uh, brave and forthright as he is. So I, those who serve the governor and lieutenant governor have to serve them well, and uh, that day was not one of my better days.